So I'm a suckler farmer here in uh, Renard Castle in County Kerry and I uh, have been farming using AI for the last uh, 15 years. So I'm farming here, producing uh, spring uh, calves, uh, weaning sold in October, November, uh, keeping all the heifers. So I've been, for the last 10 years, I've been using all maternal sires. Um, more recently then I've been, because I've had enough heifers, um, I've been using um, more terminal sires on, 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 the, on the poorer cows and in the future and this year and in the future I'll be using six semen uh, to get my replacement heifers. Yeah, this is my first year using six semen. I used it a, bit, a few years ago, which is a small bit, but yeah, this year now I purchased uh, six semen and I have it in the tank, in my, in my technician's tank and I can use it then when I feel I have a cow that I want to get a heifer off, I can use it. Um, so yeah, I've done a few this year and I'm more ready for next year as, as well. Easy calf is really important to me because I work off the farm, my wife works off the farm, so um, the amount of time I have for farming is limited enough. Um, so we don't want any problems or we want to reduce as many problems as we can. You know, this farm here is, is all about producing grass. I suppose we, we, it's pretty warm area of the country. Yes, yeah, it can be very wet. We had a wet week last week now, but it's a good area to grow grass. Um, and so we can, if the, we've had a couple of great springs now, so we get out usually maybe a bit after Patrick's Day um, and we've good road infrastructure here to get them out. Um, so we try to put as much grass into cows and into calves as we can. So um, I joined the National Genotyping Program uh, once it was, came out as a pilot program and I've been in it ever since. Uh, it's a really, really good program. I suppose it makes it safe for farmers to tag calves, you know, when they're two days old. Uh, it's usually when I tag the calves or take the samples um, and they're sent off and the results come back really quickly. And then I know I can have the figures on that calf before I put that calf's mother back in calf again. So I can make a real informed decision about what straw I'm going to put into that cow next year again based on the figures that I get back for a calf of the same year, you know. So I participate in the SCEP program uh, as well, like all far uh, farmers that uh, you have to participate in all these programs. And I suppose the National Genotyping Program allows me to have the, the tagging done early in the year. And I suppose you can see your calf growing uh, and you can pick out the ones with the various star ratings. And you, if you look at them every day, you get totally convinced that the star ratings are right. Uh, because you've you've six or seven months looking at them, so I, I would recommend the National Genotype Program to every farmer to join it. Um, the sooner you get the information on your calves, the better for yourself, uh, and it's easier to ca tag calves, particularly for spring farmers. But every every farmer has to tag their calves in here, so it's well to do it early, as to be trying to do it later on when the calf is a, a year or a year and a half. Um, so I would encourage every farmer in the country to do it. It's really, really important from an environmental point of view as well that we're breeding the right type of stock. Uh, and I think every beef farmer does an onus on them to, to, to try and make, to, you know, if we're going to make our beef industry competitive, every farmer has to be part of that.